Howdy folks, Big B here. What I've got for you today is a perfect example of what happens to a board if you don't keep it oiled. So this board I made a few years ago. I don't think it's been oiled since I built it. You can see it's got a lot of knife marks in it. It's been pretty heavily used, which is great. I love to see my boards getting used. Um, knife marks aren't the issue. Knife marks are really easy to take out with just a little sandpaper. The problem is, since it hadn't been oiled, it's there are boards that are trying to separate, especially right here. There's a big crack. You can see on the top, there's a big crack running through here. So what happens is when you're using these boards and you wash them, every time you wash them, you're taking a little bit more oil out of it. Okay, if the board doesn't have enough oil in it, then every time you're washing it, it's the water is penetrating into the wood. If it's full of oil, the water can't penetrate, okay? So once the water gets into the wood grain and then it dries out, and then you wash it in, it gets wet, and then it dries out, this wood is expanding and contracting, okay? These woods are not all the same type of wood, so they expand and contract at different rates. So if one piece of wood is expanding more than the other one, it can make them try to separate that's where you get those cracks um, so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna run this thing through a planer uh, trim up the edges a little bit and see if I can bring this thing back to life I got hungry we need a break chorizo egg cheese and bean burrito back shortly stay tuned okay we are back we've got the board ran through the planer got the edges trimmed up much better now looking a lot cleaner light nicer um but we do have a few issues when i ran it through the planer cleaned it up we can still see we've got some cracks in here uh, the edge you can see a pretty good crack there crack right down the front of this it's not the end of the world for it uh, we can't we can't fix it okay I'm not gonna be able to to fill in this crack with glue or put it back together or anything like that um, now just keeping the board oiled will keep it from cracking anymore but what we can do we can put kind of a permanent patch on these cracks what I've got here is some uh, clear epoxy two-part epoxy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this up it's two parts it's the epoxy part and then there's a hardener put some in here mix it up and then I'm going to try to fill up these cracks with the epoxy uh, this stuff sets up in about five minutes uh, it dries in about an hour or two uh, we're gonna glob it on pretty thick because when it once it's done hardening you just come back hit it with a sander and uh, make it smooth again. And it's just gonna fill in those cracks so we don't get food that gets stuck in there, grow bacteria, we don't want any of that. Okay, so once we get that done, we're gonna sand it down, run it through the router, clean up these edges, and then it's on to the next step. Okay, so we're back again. The epoxy is dried. We got it sanded down so all the cracks are filled in with epoxy. Um, put a nice routered 
edge on it. I did a final sand at 220 grit to give it a nice smooth finish. Uh, one of the things that I learned from this build is the rubber feet that I put on here years ago. The screws were all rusted. They were, they were pretty horrible looking. So, which makes sense if you're washing it in the kitchen, getting water on it. Um, so what I did was I replaced those with some stainless steel screws, which now for later, I know anytime I'm putting rubber feet, go ahead and get some stainless screws to put on there so we don't have that problem. So it's really now ready for some oil and to seal it up with some board butter, but we're not gonna do that yet. So this book board belongs to some friends of mine and neighbors that uh, they are NASA fanatics. They work at NASA. They love NASA, their kids love NASA. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it over to the laser engraver. We're gonna add a little NASA bling to the board and make it super special. All right, so now we got the board all inked up with some NASA bling, uh, looking good. So we need to put some mineral oil on it, let it really soak in good uh, to protect that board. So let's get it done. Okay, this is where the boards really, really come to life. It goes from a model to a supermodel with some mineral oil. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Look at that. It really makes the grain come to life. Just put our hands in there. Now this is food grade mineral oil. Mineral oil is a byproduct of petroleum, which is what you want because if you're using vegetable oil, vegetable oil, can go bad. It can go rancid. You don't want vegetable oil in your uh, cutting board and have it go bad. That can be nasty. So mineral oil does not go bad. It is by far the best choice for cutting boards. But look at that. Look how it really makes that board come to life. All right, so we let the mineral oil soak into the board um, for a couple hours. And now what I'm gonna do is the last step, we're gonna put some board butter on it. Board butter is a combination of mineral oil and beeswax together. What it does is, you know, it's adding more oil to the board, but also that coat of beeswax kind of seals the board, uh, gives it a nice sheen, also protects that oil from, from just seeping out over time. Uh, I would recommend if you use your board often to put a nice coat of board butter on it about once a month. So you just wax it on like that and let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Put a nice coat and then just get a, a clean paper towel, dry paper towel and wipe it off and you are good. Uh, I do make it, I sell it in these little two ounce tins. If you want to go to my website at bigbeesboards.com, you can buy some there. All right, folks, the board is done. I think it came out beautifully. It doesn't even look like the same board that we started with. Um, I hope they're gonna be happy with it. Like my highly educated, but not very bright buddy likes to say, it is more gooder now. If you'd like to check out uh, any of my boards I have available, go to bigbeesboards.com. Uh, same place if you wanna buy some board butter. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram at Big Bees Boards. I'll put the links in the description here. And of course, if you liked what you saw, subscribe to my channel. 
you never know i might come up with some more crap to put on here you might like thanks hasta luego